Just making sure I'm close enough to the curb. I mean, did you want to go and join number 53? <laughs> I'm trying to get really close to the curb so that I can be sitting inside the parking box. Common myth is, though, you don't need to be danger close to the curb like that. Would I have failed for that? This is the thing. It's that, to me, I've had that happen on a driving test. Because you haven't mounted it with two wheels, some examiners would still pass you really? for that. Really? 100%. No way. I've had somebody do that on a driving test and pass their driving test. I tell you what, when I passed my driving test on my first attempt with only four minors when I was younger. How many attempts did it take you? One, on my first attempt. Oh, on your first attempt. I mounted the curb as well with one wheel, with yes. my back wheel coming into here, the green driving test centre, because it's a tight entrance. My back wheel mounted the curb. Mm hmm still pass me yeah this is what i mean so uh, let's what? find out oh okay so, see one. <laughs> so let's find out how close to the curb you need to be and how to make sure that you're safe so that you don't even give the examiner the chance to fail you for any wheels going on the curb is you don't want to be too close you've got to think about all the debris and the crap that's in the curbside you've got broken glass you've got like think of certain times of the year when you've got loads and loads of leaves and things like that you don't know what's underneath them leaves there could be broken glass there could be potholes there could be anything under there so you don't want to be getting so close that you're kissing the curb when i'm pulling over to the right it's really easy to get close to the curb look because i'm right next to the car i can pull over and make sure that my wheel isn't too far away mm -hmm. but I'm on the wrong side of the car how do I pull over on the left cleanly the difficult thing is a lot of people would rely on their mirror for this to be able to see the space that they've got to the left however what you've got to realize is what you're looking at in the mirror is behind you so it's if you're pulling over at yeah. an angle you, yeah it's too late anyway if you're gonna touch the curb you're gonna <laughs> what the hell is that Always apply your parking brake before <laughs> always always apply your parking brake before you open your door I've got my foot on the brake, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's see how close I am actually to the curb. That's pretty neat and tidy. Happy with that? I'm happy with that, but it's when you're parking on the left that people normally have the problem. So, let's find out how to make it tidy. God, I bloody love driving. <laughs> Tips! So, when pulling up on the left, I try and provide pupils with a reference point. What's that? A reference point is a visual aid. <laughs> what is the reference point? <laughs> it's a visual aid. What is this reference point? To see point? Where, the, <laughs> where the curb is in relation to your car. Give me the reference point! So, firstly, let's pull up on the left. Let's okay. pull up in this nice space here on the left. All right. Pull I'm up the where curb? you think. No, don't mount the curb. Pull up how you think. Just pull up normally. Stop lashing my tires. You, you have, yeah, you know how. You know there. What I do is I get my pupils in a park position. Right. Then I will tell them to look through their windscreen. Right. Look at where the curb intercepts your windscreen. It will okay. have a passing point through the windscreen. There. About halfway. It's right there. Okay, it's right there. There, there and there. It's there, yeah? Right there. It's right there? Yep. It's right there. Perfect. So there you go. There's your reference point. So you know that's how you want the curb to appear in your windscreen when you are in a nice position next to the curb. Okay, so I can check it in my mirror and see how far away from the curb is. Get that shot. No, no, just no. With the door closed. <laughs> but door, have the door open as well. Just door to... closed. Have a look in the mirror and see how far away from the curb I am. Cool, so I can see in the mirror that I'm nice and close to the curb. Then I'm gonna look at out the front windscreen and see, it's gotta be from my perspective, yep. that the curb is cutting into the bonnet here. Bang on, halfway. I can even look at that little knob. knob yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, obviously depends on. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is this reference point won't work for everybody everybody's reference point is going to be individual depending on how you sit right. and what your how what your perception of your line of sight so once you're pulled over in a nice position yeah then check where the curb cuts in remember that lock it in that's your personal reference point as you drive away from the curb the curb will move left yep and away from your little knob 
or whatever you <laughs> or whatever your reference point is and then as you pull in towards the curb it when will it move m- back it into will start to move across your windscreen the, let's call it a light sensor because it's a light sensor <laughs> the little knobs your light sensor <laughs> is that what it is it's a yeah i never knew that shut up i never knew that was a light sensor what, what else is it I, d- I never knew what it was i just thought like but it really can effectively help my pupils. So okay, now boom. we know it's a light sensor. Now you're sensor. going to stop calling it a little knob and call it a light <laughs> sensor. Hold the camera, get the shot of us moving away, and we're going to then park up to the next to the curb and see that in action. Boom, moving away. Yep, see the curb's gone now. Curb's gone. Now let's turn left and we'll park up again and watch that happen. Uh, uh, it's clear. Let's find somewhere to Go pull up. Go all the way back around because that was a nice look. <laughs> But if you can try and come into no, because it works on every single curb. Yeah, no, I know. But it I'm works just... on every. So wherever you pull up, get the curb into the same place, and you're going to be parked beautifully. <laughs> so I'm going to pull up on the left here. Do this. A bit like where I bumped the curb before. So you can see the curb is coming across your windscreen. Uh, there it is. There it is. I can see. And see now it. I just need to line up that curb with the reference point. Get the car straight. Maybe I should have more. Let's do more that again. Curve. That's why that yeah. space around there was great because it was long enough to be able to get it all in. <laughs> That's what she said. Stop it. <laughs> Golden, Bennett. That was a good one. Okay, so I'm going to pull up next to the curb here. There's a nice long parking space. So you see the curb coming in. I'm going into... to pull up nice and gently at a shallow angle, and there, curbs hit my little knob. <laughs> and I'm just straightening up the car. Perfect. Open the door and see how close I am. Am I in the same place? So let's have a look. Let's check the mirror first. Looks similar to before. I mean, this. Couldn't open the door because there's a load. Oh, I'll move forward. <laughs> Try again. Nice. Yeah? Nice. Is okay, that but I'm not. Is that yeah, it's is perfect. That... Look, right in the same place, same place again. I'm not super close to the curb though. Is that okay? How close do I need to be? Which was the whole point of this video. How, how close do you want to be? You don't want to be too close. You don't want to be too far away even that people don't realise that you're parked. You can be about a drain's width away. How much is a drain's width? What's the problem with being too close? All the broken glass and all the broken crap that is in the curbside. Plus you're in danger of hitting it. You're in danger you don't of, want to bump the curb. Yeah, you're in danger of hitting it. You're you want in to danger. Do everything possible not to bump the curb. You're in danger of hitting the curb. You're in danger of damaging your tires and your wheels. You are then in danger of when you want to pull away, not being able to do it as well, because as you steer away from the curb, your wheel will then tap the curb. Okay. So, I don't want to be danger close to the curb, but I don't want to be too far away. How far is too far? Anything that's going to confuse anybody, you know, and you want to be able to comfortably leave your vehicle. You want to be close enough to the curb that you can safely leave your vehicle. So I'd need to be able to jump out and leave it for a bit. To, yeah. Do I need to be inside the parking space? No. No? No, do you? So my I wheels don't. can be out of the bay. I don't need to worry about those really slim bays like these ones. Like, look, like, now, my wheels are outside of the bay. Am I going to still pass my driving test? Well, with your driving, no, but with your parking, yeah, it's not so bad. Okay, (laughs) film exactly how close I am to the curb and then run around and see my wheels are actually outside of the bay. That's fine. Why have I always got to do the running? I'm doing the driving. (laughs) Happy with that parking? Yeah, it's not bad. So I'm okay parked, but I'm not inside the bay. You're not inside the bay, no, but you are okay parked. Okay. Shouldn't worry about being inside the bay. And I should roughly be a drain width away from the curb. So I could be even even further, really. I would say that's the maximum limit. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to run around the car again? If I have to run around the car again? I mean... That too is, far? Too, is that okay? That's ridiculous. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Really? On a test? Yeah, I think if you've done that on more than one occasion, if you stopped like that every single time, yeah. How big's your drain? As an, as an instructor, I wouldn't be happy with that. Okay. Close the door, let me get closer. Tell me to stop when you're happy. Come on in. In, in, in. 
I mean, that would probably do you, that's fine. I'm not anywhere near inside the bay, but... Let's see, Does, can this driving car test. get through? This car can get past, not cause an inconvenience. Safe for a test? Yes. So what we need to stop worrying about is not being danger close to the curb and just pulling up safely. What they're looking for is mirror, signal and safety, not how well you do your manoeuvres. Agreed? Agreed. Obviously you've got to think about what you're being asked to do. Pull up you on know? the left in a safe place. Usually you get, yeah, usually you get in a safe place. Yeah. Pull up somewhere on the left. Go on then. What would be unsafe? Um, dropped curbs, can't park on a dropped curb. If you do that in real life, then you get a ticket. Yellow lines, red lines. Same thing, you'll get a ticket. If you'll get a ticket for parking there, you can't park there. So you don't have to find a parking space. You could just park where there's no bay, no red lines, no yellow lines, and no drop curbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes the only, the only reason they put bays there is to enforce parking restrictions, which will have a parking restriction sign. That one says permit holders only. So if there's no parking restrictions in that area, there won't be bays painted on the floor. It's still okay to park there. Yeah. But it's listening, it's listening as well in your test to listening to the examiners and how they say it in a safe place, pull up on the left or pull up on the left for this, for this occasion, you can ignore the driveways. They do say that sometimes, yeah. Pull up on the left next to that tree, you can ignore yeah, the, the driveways, driveways and then it's not a trick. Like there's no tricks on the driving test. You can just do that. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That was informative. I've learned a lot. Thank you, Laura. You learned where your little knob is. <laughs> because I've been looking for it for a while and no one could find it. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you get all of our videos in your face and we'll see you in the next one. Yes. Once I've found my light sensor. Peace. <laughs>